Hello and welcome, dear ones. We are here again, and I'm so happy to be here with Hannah today. Thank you, Hannah, for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we are here again on the vital signs and voices for new earth or of new earth. And Hannah is surely one. And if you have seen our first podcast, you know that. Now, Hannah and I do something very different today. We tuned in today to allow the energy to guide us. So we're both feeling that our authenticity is yet being redefined, is bread being changed, is evolving. And we are here today to share with you how you can find that peace in the midst of that storm that is actually current in Kathmandu at the moment. <laughs> so, Hannah, share with us what, what, what comes to you when we talk about being in the flow, not being predictable, not being bound into boxes and expectations. What does it feel like? Thank you. So um, this for me is a theme, let's call it, that has been quite prevalent in many areas of my life through many of the journeys. Um, and what, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm a business strategist, so I'm coming from a very sort of structured, rigid, masculine in energy and also in gender um, uh, dominance, let's say, uh, industries. And there is a there is a sort of rise of how do we do this in a more feminine way? How do we do this in a more um expressive way where we are authentic where we are flowing where we are not um burning out right um and it can create a lot of conflict <laughs> yes i just love how you say that and the world is shifting it's not just us things are breaking and they're not really breaking with drama well, it can be dramatic but they're breaking to break free and I feel this is so important. We're breaking free into this new union of feminine and masculine expression. And yet the expression of the authenticity is not the authenticity you had yesterday, five years ago, 10 years ago. There is something new evolving inside. What is evolving yeah. inside? Yeah, I think the question here is what is authenticity? What is authentic to you, right? Um, and going back to your previous question of fitting, fitting in boxes and structures, um, the moment we start doing that is the moment we start losing our authenticity because we're trying to fit into somebody else's ideals and structures and stories and shoulds and musts and woulds and all of the other stuff, right? So the moment we start trying to fit in is the moment we start losing that authentic authenticity. And so for me, finding that authenticity again is about breaking down these structures and this conditioning. This uh, it's an unlearning process yes. to really see what's underneath there, what's really that unique expression, that unique being, that unique blueprint of who you are. Yes, I say I love how you say that. And and this is this is all together with the cosmos. You know, if you look at the universe, this is beyond astrology and sure, surely beyond prediction. We are in this whole process together. And I love how you talk about authenticity. How do we express it? Because essentially it's all about expression, the expression of that authenticity. And the question arises like has arisen all the time is who am I? Yes. <laughs> and I feel if I had a sense who I was a year ago, this is no longer who I am. How do you feel about that? I love, I love that you put that because Patrick, this is something I think I've had a crisis with and a conflict with all my life. And every time I ask, who am I? 
I naturally, you know, and I go my journal practice, okay, who am I? Who is Hannah? And I naturally go into this like offloading of all the labels that society has or describes of who I am, right? In the context of this society. And just a few weeks ago, actually, I, I think I posted, I'm not sure if I posted it in my Instagram, but I think I've posted it in my Facebook profile. I shared a snippet from my journal and I asked myself, who am I? And for the first time ever, and it was such a beautiful experience, I just let the pen flow and it was all qualities, values, energy. There was no, like, yes, of course, I am a mother, but I am mother. What does mother mean? I am creation. I am creative. I create. I'm a vessel. I'm a portal. And so like it was just this expression of 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 en of energies and values and beliefs that were just beyond the labels. So you mentioned like yes this is changing. It's changing on a macro level where we're looking at institutions breaking down breaking down, falling apart. Um but and then and, and ideals and beliefs and all of that stuff, but also on, on, a, on a community, on a collective level, but also on an individual soul level, right? This is also happening. And I feel like that's that's something that has been activated, let's say in me as well recently um, to a deep, in a deeper sense than before. Yeah, so this whole awakening is actually doing that not to us so we're not victims to that no we have chosen to be here and this awakening is actually what we have chosen it's not happening to us it's happening with us and for us and i love how you were able to go from the labels because this is the boxes that we're trying to fit in where we have been trying to fit in that we have been obliged to sometimes and then there came a point where we said no. And all of a sudden, beyond the no, now actually come through who we truly are. This is authenticity. Now, how do we express that? And I even would say it's beyond values, what you've been writing down. It is your vibration or your vibrancy. This is how you show up in the world. Yeah. You're right. And I bring that in because it fits. So when we are able to break these old lay, but it has to come natural. Now it comes naturally with the support of the energies that coming through of awakening that naturally the labels no longer have a meaning. And we're naturally coming into the values that are multidimensional. The mother is not a label. It's not your obligations and the expectations of the mother. It is you allowing your unique expression of being a mother and your authentic expression and allowing that to, to be in synergy with your lovely son. Yeah. It's a very different story now. 100%. And I feel this is, and I it came to me because, you know, I'm like you, very creative, intuitive. I created this integrity thing because in language, in English, integrity actually has three meanings. One is that you have principles. And for me, this is now the old that we are breaking. We've been following ethical things and we've been following traditions of whoever labels and we're now breaking them into what's true in my heart. This is authentic. This is what you've been writing. The second part is that this is in a dictionary. This is not made up by Patrick. huh? And the second part is that you become coming to your wholeness. So in your multidimensionality, yes, you're a physical being. You have chosen to incarnate at this time, but you're also a soul that is connected through the heart also to the divine. We are three dimensional in that sense of wholeness, the physical, the spiritual, and the unique soul. And so this is number two, number two, but number three is actually that magic tone. And that magic tone is when everything is in harmony. And now this is interesting, and I'm gonna take you there because I know you're an expert in this. 
just evolving, of course. So this tone that we're actually having is our expression. It's actually our authentic and unique pitch. Pitch means the natural authentic expression that has to do with voice and expression, language, and of course also the tone, the vibration. So let me know what that means to you. How does that resonate? There are so many things that you that you've mentioned here that um, resonate, and I think you used the word a few times: choice. Uh -huh. We have a choice; we choose. Um, I think this is very important. Um, what you said earlier about you didn't, we're not a victim of this breaking down. Like this is a choice of of bringing into our awareness. So you, we we always have that choice. Um, you can choose to, you know, to continue experiencing the frustrations and the conflicts and, you know, the internal battles with trying to fit into these boxes that you don't align to anymore, right? Or you can choose to come into alignment and ask, like you, like you rightly said, like, what's true to my heart? What's true to me right now in this moment? Um, and finding, connecting, like, what are you aligning to? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I aligning to? What principles am I aligning to? What hold? What does wholeness mean? To what? What is that? So 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 checking because we talk about alignment and authenticity very freely and very sort of you know they're buzzwords if you like um used not very authentically no. <laughs> um because I like this is something people fake vulnerability and fake authenticity which I find like I can't even grasp that it's so beyond um who i am but but yeah we have a choice and we have a choice um to be in integrity is also to to know what it is i am aligning to and that alignment would change with the more you get closer to that real authentic self probably that alignment might evolve and change as you progress mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, I feel the choice is one of the most important things and it's a conscious choice and it's yes. in the presence. Yes. And it doesn't mean that you are inconsistent if your choice is different next time. It just means the energy, your presence, the situation is different. I also mm -hmm. love that you talk about alignment. What are we aligning to? What does alignment really mean? it's actually falling into place. But alignment, the first part of alignment is really connecting, isn't it? And again, that choice, what am I connecting to? Nobody needs to follow my, my connections. This little model of integrity sync is not, ah, Patrick says this. No, you figure out what that means for you. I give you a general idea, but it's for you to make that choice what is your wholeness? Yeah. Put it in your authenticity from the heart. Yeah, because then it becomes another structure and another box to fit into. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, no, I have to fit into Patrick's idea of what this should be like, right? Exactly. And so, and so if you're not being empowered from within to look at what is your um, alignment, what does this mean, what are you aligning to, then then you're just going to keep falling into these traps um, and templates and structures and processes that are not serving you, right? Exactly. And so I feel in unlearning, and I just wrote about that because, as you know, I'm always redefining, rebranding, whatever you call it. In this unlearning and evolutionary way, the storm is really on. I, I like it in a way. Huh? Um, I feel we are changing from... People like you and me and, and, and all of us, really, we're changing. Instead of teaching people, you have to be like Patrick or Hannah or whatever. We're actually becoming a bridge for them to cross over into their authenticity and uniqueness. We're, we're having a key, maybe, or we find their key to unlock their authenticity and uniqueness. 
And maybe we have a light to shine into their problems and conflicts and frustration to see beyond it. Yes. Because maybe that conflict, that problem is, is just because you look in a particular way and you need a light to be shown so that you can see more than that. Because maybe what you're seeing is the, is the box and the labels that you no longer fit. Yeah, I mean, this is the purpose of having guides and coaches and mentors and healers and therapists and all of that. And the other labels. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm breaking. <laughs> yeah, so I feel in unlearning, we're looking for bridges, we're looking for keys, we're looking for somebody who can switch off the light where I don't see. And, yeah. and, and that I feel is planting seeds cultivating seeds but it's also perpetuating or giving the the initiation for perpetuating the authenticity because i i don't know where you're going and i, I think for the first time humanity is in a space on this planet we don't know where we're going this is unprecedented huh? this is... and it's very scary and if you look at if you if you feel and i know you do I certainly feel the fear that is around right now. And now we have a choice. What does this fear mean to you? Mm -hmm. I have a choice. Do I, because there is fear and panic and whatever around the world, like, do I subscribe to, to what, to where, to who, where am I putting my focus and my energy? And that Where am I going to allow this fear to fuel me and to empower me into doing things different moving forward? Exactly. I like how you say fuel and how you show the spiral or the vortex. I yeah, because you can fuel up or you can fuel up. Exactly. <laughs> it's like that. So being but... aware of the fear, and, and of course, the biggest fear that we fear we're having at the moment is the unknown. Besides all the warnings and the danger and all of that, it's actually the unknown. So what are you going to do with the unknown? You're making peace with it and you trust that that authenticity and peace within can spiral out. Or you're giving up and feeding yeah. that fear. I mean, in many traditions, they say the opposite of fear is love. Yeah. And it is known that Fear is basically that part of the primitive mind where when the bad tiger comes to attack you, then you figure out how you work with that, right? But in general, we're living in a world of fear of the unknown. So as you said, what if we allow that fear of the unknown and to embrace the unknown and trust that that authentic self that's still sleeping inside is awakening and actually knows how to spiral out. It is not easy. No. No. Because I it it is actually somehow, in a very screwed up sense, more comfortable to subscribe to the fear mongering and to stay disempowered. Mm -hmm than it is to experience um, working with that fear and looking how you're going to do with it. Because that fear, like to, to, to go through the unknown and the fear and to keep walking, that requires a lot of trust. It requires vision. It requires confidence. It requires just trust and to feel safe. But to get there, it's not an easy road to get there. Sometimes you really have to like experience powerlessness first to look at what is like, you know, you have where to is the tiger going to come and attack me from sort of situation so that you can really now truly create that path forward. Yes, it's beautiful how you said that. It's like we need to allow ourselves to break in that process. It's only the breaking that allows us to break free. And, and and it's not like I remember when you and I met, we had this coach in common and he always talked about leave your comfort zone. This is not the comfort that we're talking about now. This is a comfort on a collective level as well. 
And when we can break that, because we are comfortable in fear, we are comfortable in survival. But where we going is not that. And the unknown is really something to embrace. If we wouldn't know what to do, we wouldn't have chosen to come here at this time in this body. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 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 but I, I really love that. And it is not easy. I feel this is very clear for us to understand. This is not easy on no level. What I heard this morning, and I resonate with that, um, the messages that coming through is about this month, because we've gone through so much energetic shifts. This month, actually, we are able to sustain what we call the fifth and the sixth dimension longer. So what we're describing here, you and I, the experiences that we all have, because nobody can maintain a high frequency dimension, consciousness, whatever, for a long time. This month, we actually will be able to stay there longer. So I feel this is good news for all of us. Yeah, you're, you're, and you have lightning as well. <laughs> lightning, the lights are literally going on and off. <laughs> 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 so it is interesting how in a world where you can manipulate weather uh, and, and, and the frequencies and all of that, you cannot manipulate synchronicity, synergy and the truth. Yeah. So this this is very important. And this is also authenticity, because when we live in authenticity, we trust that it more than the alignment creates synergy. And everything is synchronistic. We have chosen it. We are safe. And in a way, your weather and your power situation is actually showing that. And it's interesting because our power at the moment goes off and on. Just like what's happening for you. <laughs> yeah. But the good news is we are in this together, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, which is why, um, you know, having that support and community is so vital in these in these times. I mean, in all times, but in these times. <laughs> in these times, it's even more vital. We also talk about expression. And, and of course, we express now a lot how we are feeling about that. And feeling doesn't have to be touchy-feely, you know, oh, my God. No, feeling is actually what's your truth in your heart. Feeling yeah. is not just wishy-washy or whatever it's also beyond it's also beyond emotional intelligence as we know so what are you feeling about this new expression of this new self that's coming forth it's <laughs> the lights are green I know. <laughs> what <laughs> What do I believe about this um, authentic expression that's coming through as a collective? As a collective, yeah. What you maybe? Uh, yeah, look, so what I see a lot in my world, I mean, I'm a business strategist. I help people with marketing. I help people share their voice, right? I help people share their their um, their gifts. You know, I help them monetize their gifts in the online space. And so marketing and content creation is all part of it and today I actually posted this you know a lot of people are so obsessed and so desperate putting all of this desperate energy into like finding the hacks and the tools and the structures and the next you know funnel that's gonna make it and the next you know the, 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 the templates and the scripts and all of these ready-made things um like <laughs> this is not working this hasn't worked it may have worked for a few people they got lucky but it doesn't it's not sustainable thank you it is not sustainable you will not be if you are if you are sensitive in any way <laughs> you are not going to be able to sustain it because it is so inauthentic it is so misaligned to like what the world needs right now we need humans. We need the human nature, the authentic human nature to come through. You know, we need people to give a shit about each other. 
because that script you downloaded or that worksheet, you know, like work, that worksheet that you think is going to change like your whole business and blow it up and, you know, um, help you serve or heal tens of thousands of people. Like it's not going to work, but your human nature showing up in your authentic self will sharing that message. Like I did today, like, you know what? My weekend sucked. I've been suffering from period cramps and back injuries and a sick child and all of that stuff. And then, you know, I had women messaging me saying, I love you. Thank you for just expressing your truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, this is very empowering to watch you do that. Thank you for the own validation yeah. of the lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and as uh, you know, this is authentic. Yes. And, and that is what is connecting us. Uh -huh. relatability authentic this vibration of no bullshit you know like i am trying to step up when we start actually caring and giving a shit about one another this is where we're gonna succeed exactly and so let's redefine what success means yes so uh, basically the the last pit i want to look at, at, at uh, this is beautiful i love it um, the last bit, how, what is really then success? Because I've been desperate and I got aware of this last month and I let it go with all the conjunction and the Jupiter and the Uranus and everything. And in all of that, what came out for us, what we are really about, like you are a business strategist, authentically, we are all about making living from the heart uh, our unique choice accessible. So it's a bit of a mouthful. But I feel people don't have the sense that they can access living from the heart and it's okay. And it's our unique choice, yours and mine and everybody who is listening and not listening because we are in this together. So in that context now, where is the new success? What is then success? It's not the funnels. It's not a new document. It's not AI. It doesn't mean that AI doesn't have a purpose. But what we really need is the connection one-on-one. -on -one. So what then is success? Yeah, I think you get to redefine what that means for you. I think each and, each and every one of us. I think it's also a feeling. It I is think it's also a state it's not when you have so many zeros in your bank account or when you're able to buy that house or um like like all of these things may be great to have but maybe now you know you, your value what you value what you put value in would change and for me it's um yeah i, I for me having more deep one-to-one -one connections is part of my success having having fewer relationships with depth is part of my success having um time and space for myself and my family that for me that oh, that's also success um when i yeah. hear I really, I really love that because it is about that. We always, I mean, I've never chased millions, whether million, I didn't want followers anyway, because I don't want somebody to follow me in the sense being little Patrick. I, I was never interested in that, but it is interesting that that desperation. And I feel it's the energy also fear. No, I don't have enough. I'm not doing good. I'm not successful. And I remember because we we connect sporadically, but when we connect, it's always steep. One of the things you said, maybe we have a collaboration too. And I'm just planting a seed and putting it out there. And maybe the audience today can let us know what they feel about it. How about Hannah and Patrick get together and talk about how to find your true success? Yeah. I love it. Because I feel our our different approaches that are yet one could really be a bombshell for people to break free and really find what success means to them. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Patrick, I think this, um, finding that out and having the support to do the work to actually embody and integrate that 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 belief, that new sort of 
um yeah a belief harmonic it's a belief, right? being it becomes an harmonic state of being more than a belief. exactly but but it's a belief but but then you need to embody it exactly so, so just knowing it cognitively is one thing but actually truly embodying it and having that integrated um that's just gonna make you flow through life in such a different way where all of this conflict and you know frustration and disappointments and resentments and feelings of being left behind or feelings of not being good enough or not there yet and like all of this starts to melt away because you're living in your authentic self in your aligned path who is to decide like how it's supposed to be and if you're falling back compared to what and whom based on what ideals and you know definitions of success on who's measuring stick are exactly. you exactly measuring your own success based on what based on what based on who yeah you just disappear exactly. well, and then you become the author of your life but you also become the key to this new collective consciousness that is no box to fit in it requires your unique key to unlock that i love that it's beyond that yeah it's beyond you it's then. way beyond that but i know it's late your way and i don't want to overload our our beautiful audience today it's very beautiful that they came into the space with us and yeah like always Hannah, it's just good to be with you. What can I say? And I really hope that the audience today can feel there is a way. We can do this. We are here in this together. And we are very happy to bring out some collaboration to find your success, the two of us. And I give the last word to you. What are your final words to our audience today? Well, um... There's just been so much. I think it's, for me, the last words are check in with yourself. Any moment and every moment that you have that you remember, just check in. How do I feel about this? Is this true to my heart right now? That's all you need. Like, that's really, like... <laughs> and then... If you have to guilt, like, simplistically do this, truly... That's all it takes, a check-in, and in, uh, a quick check-in with self. Yes, beautiful. And we're going to leave it this way. And this is also, of course, the first part of living from the heart. Because you make that first choice to say, this is good for me. This, this is not even good or bad. This is true for me. You said it so beautifully. It's just like that. And everything happens there. And over time, I'm very sure all of us can stay there longer. So for today... Thank you so much, Hannah. We're going to continue because this is good, as you know. And we are very grateful for everybody who is here today. We love your messages. And we would love to know how about this collaboration in whatever form it wants to unfold to find your success, unique, authentic to you and how you can express it in your world. Thank you. And we see you soon. Take care.